And in 1962, Brock was a regular before his 23rd birthday, struggled, as we all know, in the two seasons with the Cubs. And usually he was reminded of what he wasn't and rarely told what he could do. And it's a date, a watershed moment in Cardinals history, June 15th, 1964. The Cardinals traded 20 game winner, Ernie Brolio. And the Cardinals got that man, Lou Brock. And the rest is history. Rest in peace, Lou. And we'll be thinking of you today. We all love you. Starting pitcher for the Cubs, the professor Kyle Hendricks. And he comes at you uh, this way. A lot of change-ups and sinkers. Occasionally he'll elevate a four-seam fastball. His average at that time was 205, and that's what he's doing on the road, shooting gaps. Hustling out of the box, he'll take a wide turn around first base and stop there. Lead-off single, Colton Long. Drives this one the other way, and it is just beneath the basket. He almost hit another leadoff homer. As it is, it's a double. Good start. That's a base hit. Let's see if Happ will score. Nope. With nobody out, Will Venable will stop him at third. Two on, nobody out for Anthony Rizzo. Tag applied. 4-3 double play, run scores, 1-0. No RBI for Rizzo, Hap is in, and then the Cubs have the lead. Backhanded by DeYoung, gonna be close, safe, he beat it. DeYoung waited back on that. Mahami didn't hit it all that hard, it'll be an infield single because of his hustle. It's been a storyline here today, a lot of balls right on the screws. Little blooper will drop in. Ground ball toward the hole, diving stop. Carpenter throw to second, and they do get an out. It's a big first out for the Cardinals. Meanwhile, the Cubs have him at first and third with Rizzo coming up. High fly ball, left center. Kipnis ready to tag. Bader, and he dropped it. And they're going to give him the out. It'll end up being a sack fly, and it's two to nothing. And now he's eight for 15. Just takes it the other way and a base hit. And the tying run will come to the plate. Ground ball, let's see if they can turn it. Ooh, that's nifty. They do. Five, six, three on the double play. Henderson's getting that ground ball when he needed one. KB in the shift, backhanded flip. Set that one to sweet Georgia Brown. A little five, six, three action. Mamet cranks one to left. And it's going to roll to the wall. Two really good at bats. Mm -hmm. Boy, if not for that win, he'd be halfway to a cycle here today. Hypnos a single and a run. That is going to get into left. And Mamet's going to score. Kipnis racing to second. Throw to the plate late. Three nothing. Cubs have really struggled with runners in scoring position, especially here of late, but Kipnis delivers with just a little pooch the other way. Carpenter. Another close one. Safe at first as Goldschmidt was off the bag. He's on again. Three times on the ground in the infield, three reaches. We'll see if this is a base hit or an E5. And that ball will go into left. Baez will make third. Schwarber to second. And back-to-back -back fielding mistakes by St. Louis, putting the Cubs in business. They've got two men in scoring position. Wilson Contreras at the plate. The infield in for St. Louis. Contreras swings, rips one fair ball down the left field line. Baez scores. Schwarber races around third. He's coming home. A two-run single for Wilson Contreras. And the Cubs extend the lead 5-0 over the Cardinals here in the fifth. 5-0 Cubs lead. Kyle Hendricks has been so good at Wrigley Field throughout his career. Hendricks dealing in this ball game as Goldschmidt delivers with a base hit into left center. And a leadoff hit to start play here in the top of the seventh. And a fly ball out to right. Maybe 
Kind of hesitated just a bit, and it drops in for a base hit. I'm sure Weeders wants to get more than anything that first hit. Just be done with it. And Weeders hits it off the end of the bat, and there it is. His first hit of the season. That'll drive in Miller. The Cardinals get on the board to make it 5-1. to one. And a smile for Matt Weeders. Speaking of the smile of Lou Brock, there's a big one for Matt Weeders. Third time Hendricks has gone at least seven this season. And strike three called. Kyle's third strikeout in the first since the third inning. Swing and a miss. Good comeback. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Hendricks to finish the eighth. Cubs lead by four. Fly ball to center. Ian Happ is there. Cubs win. Rowan Witt goes one, two, three in the night. Season series ends up five apiece. All ten played here at Wrigley Field, and the standings are up to date as the Cubs now have that two and a half game lead in the Central.